the tier 10 French prick, is yet another effective and economical tech tree clone that everybody loves to hate. This time featuring physics defying Hull, a gun equivalent of a snowball, and came from the most annoying nation in the game. Most would view it as a more versatile clever, having quick reloading guns and defensive AA, in exchange for crap ballistic. But that's like comparing actually good gunboat to Kabrovsk self-esteem. As even with all the necessary tools to do pretty much anything, you would still need Galaxy Brain to master the ship. Starting with the magical French hull, known for being a dense mud. For those who don't know, the French destroyers has a gimmick that allows their hull to saturate faster than other. This makes them a pain in the ass to kill since it doesn't give you a fair trade when fighting other DD that isn't French. You use this gimmick to shrug off shots while you zoom around the map. It has enough speed to smash through wargaming balancing department, but you also have good rudder shift to prevent that. You use it to secure a flank faster than anything but carrier planes, giving early spotting for the team, and surprise the enemy by shooting them first. If the CV is heading to your direction, which they most likely will, you get closer to teammates. There is no shame on doing that, don't listen to simps who ask you to spot for them. Even with DFAA, it is not immune to planes, save for the occasional turkey shot when they fly into your flags, courtesy of its dual purpose main gun. Unlike the Clever, which has the most powerful DD guns with reliable shell ballistic, the shells on this pea shooter takes longer to arrive than Germany. The first thing you do is zoom out your binocular and get used on seeing smaller targets on your screen, or just get a big ass monitor. You then napalm the BBs and get your obligatory medal, or kill DDs that got too close, whichever provides the best opportunity. If you spot anything not angled, you load AP and throw accordions on their sides. Maybe you'll get lucky, especially against American ship, like how French missile seems to have hit more ships belonged to French allies. Your main purpose is to jump on people that aren't paying attention and dislodge them with constant HE spam. It is important to be the one that shoots first, but since it is very discreet much like its bigger brother, you must be absolutely sure about the outcome of your actions. If you are spamming a BB, you must be sure it burns harder than Dresden, duking shots and flanking it with your speed and handling. If you are hunting DD, you must be sure to find them, using islands to conceal your bad detection, then ambush them with your crazy DPM. Just make sure they don't see you coming. If you are engaging cruisers, well you must be one brave man, because your guns cannot deal with cruiser in a respectable amount of time, as they can easily dodge your shells. If you want to deal with cruiser properly as a DD, go play the clever or the 1991 Soviet Russia simulator. The only time to commit on a cruiser, is when you have cover, or have absolutely no other tactical options but to go down together. Four minutes have passed, and I haven't even mentioned torpedoes, a good addition for gatekeeping, a nice dessert against unattentive people, and it is still miles better than that abandoned child, but most of the time, you will be dealing with torpedoes coming your way instead. This is how you play the half Colbert. You take preventative maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, and advanced firing training. Then you take demolition expert, or save another point for concealment, or radio location, so you can hunt destroyers more efficiently. Then put the rest of the skills on superintendent and adrenaline rush. For the upgrades you get main armament 1, engine room, aiming system, propulsion, concealment, and finally main battery 3, or auxiliary armament mod 2 if you absolutely hate planes, and don't forget Juliet Charlie flag, striking the balance to make both side actively moving, 
but providing a slight edge to your team, while having crap thrown at you, is what the French known for anyway. While it lacks the specialty of a proper gunboat, or the stealth of torpedo boats, it is arguably one of the most potent DD to control the map. If you are fun at parties and loves to give shitty jokes that didn't make anyone laugh, this is a ship for you. Nothing mattered if you can literally go anywhere and do anything, until the game had enough of you. Good try, 9 out of 10 for effort.